Morning guys, Daniel here from Unidan Engineering. We're out at Genoan Hills, four wheel drive park for our sixth annual Unimog Owners Weekend. Been coming out here for obviously for six years now. It's been a fantastic weekend for all involved. We thought we'd take this opportunity to show you one of our latest products. It's a Mercedes-Benz Unimog U5023 with one of our slide on campers on the back. For obvious reasons, this truck's called Kermit or Kermit the Mog. It's got a pretty extensive range of our custom built accessories on it. Starting at the front, we've got our custom made uh, U5023 bull bar, very heavy duty. We've got uh, integrated light bars, uh, our winch mount comes with it. We've got some driving lights down the bottom and then we've integrated all of the factory Mercedes-Benz lights into that bar. So the next product is what we call our scrub bars slash roof rack. We've been building these for a lot of years now. With the Unimog, they're a big truck and a lot of the tracks we have to deal with are pretty small. So our scrub bars are literally that to protect the truck from scrub. Within our, our scrub bars, we've got our integrated ladder and then a little electric crane at the top for getting our spare wheel up and down. So moving down the passenger side of the truck, uh, Mercedes-Benz Unimogs come from the factory with either 140 or 170 litre fuel tanks, uh, which is great for around a farm, but definitely not good enough for an expedition vehicle. So we've taken that out, we've taken out the factory battery box, and we've put in a 440 litre dual tank system here. Uh, nice and heavy duty, tried and tested throughout the country. We've maintained our factory over angle, so we don't have any interference with rocks colliding with the bottom of it. Our very heavy duty tank system, uh, sorry, tank brackets, if they do get hit, they should handle any sort of hit you put at it. Obviously we've gotten rid of the big battery box and we've integrated and put a, some AGM batteries under here under, behind the step. As I mentioned earlier, it is a slide on camper. It's, I think it's probably the biggest slide on camper on the market. We've integrated our legs so you don't have too many storage problems. Our rear legs are built into the body. Our front legs actually pull out of the body, turn upside down and then slide into the headboard. Once we've got our legs down, you've, sit, you've found yourself an appropriate camp spot. Um, literally we get the, the controller out, we press the up button, the camper body will lift up and drive our truck out and then press the down button, she'll come down and then you can self-level it. So now the camp's set up, we can go to town, go shopping. But seeing as how we're at Genoan Hills four wheel drive park, we'll get out and see what the Unimog can do. Day. Been out driving in the Mog all day, had a really good day. Uh, and here we are back at camp. Uh, camp's still set up, no one stole our great spot. Uh, the camper didn't get damaged out in the trees. Uh, so yeah, here we go, it's all set up. We're gonna talk about some um, technical details of the truck and why we build them the way we do. Starting with our subframe, we use all Australian made steel, laser cut, folded, uh, hot dip galvanized, so they'll last, uh, last in the elements for a long time. Moving on to our core, it's a composite paneling, fiberglass, insulated 29 mil panel, and then fiberglass on the inside as well. So nice and smooth inside and out, easy to maintain and fairly strong. In here, we've got our electrical control panels. So we've got a lot of electrical gear in here. We've got a lithium batteries, 3000 watt inverter, C-zone control unit, DC to DC chargers. We've got two chargers, we've got a solar regulator. So we've got a massive amount of power going into our lithium batteries here. Moving into the cu this cupboard here, We've got plenty of different options here. Some people choose to have our waterproof fusion stereos. Uh, other people have, want to have their TV out here, so a second flat screen TV. Uh, this one was fairly basic, a little bit of storage, uh, external power, external charging points, and then our electric awning switch. So this is our 12 volt uh, carefree awning, uh, 4.5 meters long. Uh, it comes out, it's got its built-in legs, very easy to set up, very simple. Uh, we can fasten them to the side of the camper. We don't have to put them down into the sand and the dirt and the mud. And, uh, it is always a good idea when the wind picks up to definitely secure them down with some guy ropes though. With an expedition vehicle, we need as much storage as possible. Uh, this is our lower end of, of hatches. We have three different versions of hatches. These are our entry point, then we've got some custom made hatches, and then we've got some uh, German built hatches as well, which we can get in a whole uh, range of sizes. So on the back of the truck here, we've got some pretty um, nifty little devices. They're a seven and a half litre jerry can. So on this side, we've got two seven and a halfs, on the other side, two seven and a halfs again. They're all fully secured, locked into place. Uh, you can choose between add blue, additional water if you like, diesel, petrol for the generator or motorbike. So pretty handy little spot to store uh, bits and bobs. So in here, we've got our rear boot section. Again, we've got multiple choices of fit outs with inside our boot section. In this one, we've got our hot and cold shower for outdoor showers. We have a really good size storage box for all your recovery gear, tools, etc., etc. 
And last but not least, we've got our second spare wheel. So one on the truck and one in the camper. There we have it. So with our rear wheel carrier, um, it's a one person job. We basically plug our remote control into here, hit the button, comes down electronically. We can use that winch to stand the wheel back up vertically, to make it a little bit easier. Change the wheel, bring the new one back around, lay him on the ground, push the button, all comes back up again. We slide it away, couldn't be any easier. All right, let's go look inside. So at Unidan, we, um, we don't just build uh, mobile homes. Mobile homes to me is if there's something that's nice and fluffy and there's timber everywhere, but looks great, but there's no um, longevity in it. Uh, in here, uh, inside and outside of our vehicles, we've either got fiberglass, stainless steel, aluminium, or plastic. There's nothing in here that can rot. It's all lightweight, heavy duty, um, and yeah, you can easily wipe it down. If you uh, happen to break a window or whatever out in the bush and the thing fills up with uh, bull dust, you can literally get a fire hose in here and hose everything out, other than the soft furnishings, obviously. So on this side of the camper here, we've got our dinette. It's a good size dinette for four people. It can actually fold down to make a king single bed as well. Um, we've got a bit of storage in behind both our seats here, and underneath the table here, we've got a 180 litre water tank. Moving down this side, we've got a shower, proper shower screen. In here we've got our composting toilet. We have three different ranges of toilets. We have our cassette toilet, composting toilet, or vacuum toilets, whichever you choose. And we've got a full vanity sink in there and a glass uh, mirrored front cabinet. And moving further down, we've got our uh, 230 litre Vitrofrigo fridge freezer. So a good size fridge freezer for a camper of this size. And moving to the rear of the camper, we've got a queen size bed, plenty of overhead storage. We've got storage at both ends of the bed and some little cabinets there, and then also some lockers down the head and tail of the bed as well. So plenty of storage at this end of the camper. So when it comes to creature comforts, we obviously want to have some hot water. So we've got a, a Wabasto diesel hot water system, and then also their ducted air heating system as well. So definitely keeps us warm in winter time. So moving on to our kitchens, we use uh, stainless steel bench top as our preferred uh, our option and most of our customers choose that option as well. We can do uh, corian or laminate if you like, but yeah, as I said, stainless steel is very industrial and that's the reason they use it is because it's tough, it's easy to look after, and it's very hard to damage. On the uh, sink side of things, we've got our flip-up sink uh, to give you a little bit more bench space when you're not using it. So hot and cold running water, filtered water here as well for drinking. This one here has a diesel cooktop, so the Wabasto diesel cooktop, whereas we also do quite often the induction cooktops as well. Up here, a um, little travel buddy, tw uh, 12 volt uh, pie oven. Great great little invention, a lot, of, a lot of people are requesting those now. And then we've got a little 240 volt uh, microwave as well. Moving forward, so our kitchen is never big enough. Uh, in a camper this size, it's very hard to have a, a massive kitchen bench. So what we've done in this instance, we've continued our stainless steel uh, bench top and we've got a, a nice good size bench top now. I think it's now 2.2 meters long and in places up to 700 mil wide. So obviously every camper needs a, a control system, whether that be switching, water tanks, fuel tanks, all that sort of stuff to tell us what, what's going on in the truck. So we choose to use the C-Zone uh, touchscreen system. So on here, we've got all our settings that we can need. We can turn our lights on at the touch of a button. If we're going to bed, we can just press uh, sleep mode and that'll shut down everything you don't need while you're sleeping. There's multiple things we can control, monitor. We can get it to multiple function just at, at, at one touch of a button. On here we've got our DC monitoring, we've got our water tanks, um, we can turn our toilet on, we can put our warning out if we like. There's just so much you can do with that one screen. It's, it's a fantastic little setup. Well guys, there we have it. That's our 2018 model slide on camper. Um, as we've said throughout the day we've got many different options if there's something that you would like in your camper that we haven't spoken about today please please let us know but that brings us to that time of the day cheers